but first this morning what may well have been never broadcast before. This because it is from a pilot programme which in 1989 had been submitted as such to enable the RTE executives to consider for broadcasting a series of satirical programmes. The sketch, which you can judge for yourself, was in the context of the shotgun marriage between Charles Hohe of Fianna Fáil and Desmond O'Malley's Progressive Democrats. This followed the 1989 election, when both parties, bitterly opposed, had just fought this snap election, and both had lost ground. There was no obvious winner of the election, and no overall dull majority from anywhere. But Hohe, who had surprised many by calling the election in the first place, and this was his fifth attempt to win an overall majority, he lost seats, but he could govern if he could persuade Fianna Fáil to do what it had never done, abandon its core principle and embrace another party in a coalition government. Fianna Fáil didn't get enough uh, seats to form a government. Desmond O'Malley rationalising the Progressive Democrats' decision to enter a coalition. Um, and we lost out quite badly, actually, at that time. But the combination of the two would enable you to form a government. And uh, this was pointed out to us, um, uh, and um, the mathematics of it uh, indicated that that's what should happen. And my instinct, and indeed the instinct of all my colleagues, was, God, let this chalice pass from us, you know. Uh, we don't want to do this. Uh, and then we sat down, I remember, for three days, three full days, and we discussed it. And the crunch issue really was, if we don't do this, we, there'll be a general election straight away within six weeks of the last one. Do you think the people are going to thank us for that? The people made a certain decision, and I think our duty is to implement that decision. And it was this unlikely coalition between Fianna Fáil and the Progressive Democrats, between Charles Hohe and Desmond O'Malley, this very unlikely coalition, which was the subject of the Scrap Saturday sketch. God, Foyler, Don O'Malley only is still waiting to see you. So bring him in. It's been a long time, Don O'Malley only. You've changed your hair. Yeah, yeah, well, um, we have to do business, uh, Don Charlie We have to end this war between our two families. We have to arrange a coalition. I'll never come to this, Don O'Malley only. You broke my heart and you split my vote. And now you come to me and you say, Don Charlie only, I want a coalition. You want a coalition, but you don't show me no respect. You don't even think to call me Taoiseach. Mm, yeah, the people need your leadership, Taoiseach. Maybe there's been too much bloodshed. You lost an election. I lost an election. My own son. They took him and they put a chain around his neck. Yeah, yeah, they garroted him. No, they, they made him mayor. Tom Charlie only. We, we must bring our families together once more. We must. We will, no, no, no. We're not going to have this coalition done in Elioni. But maybe we, we can have an accommodation. But let me say this. I'm the boss, Don O'Malley. You stay in line and be respectful. And I swear on the graves of my friends that I will not be the one to break the peace that we have made here this very day. These are troubled times, PJ. Your family will say it's a sign of weakness, Tisha. They'll say the old man is losing his power. No, no Malion is just a two-bit hustler. All he wants is power. I'm going to take him in and I'm going to crush him like he tried to crush me. But there's talk, Tisha. No, bring your own family. Don't mind the talk. That's Alberto and Bertie. They're ambitious men. Uh, I guess I was too at their age. But they don't understand the always. A stroke here, a deal there. Nobody got hurt. But all this... Beef exporting and this land planning. This is a dirty business. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I had a terrible dream. I dreamt I was the godfather and someone had put a horse's ass in my bed. A horse's ass called O'Malley. I dreamt we were in bed together, 
mean that. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> wakey, wakey! <laughs> You're not dreaming. We are in bed together. <laughs> And that was a piece of broadcasting history, 1989, because that was the pilot sketch which impressed the editorial board in Orti and who later that year accepted what became Scrap Saturday with Dermot Morgan and Jerry Stembridge. And I'm grateful to Robert Canning of the Orti Sound Archives for bringing that recording to my attention.